In this video, we will go over how to properly hook up your home sleep study device. Normally, our technologists would be wearing full protective equipment, like you see here. For the purposes of this video, they will forgo the equipment and make sure everything can be seen and heard. Before starting, the technologist will verify your date of birth, the physician you want your results sent to, and have you sign a form consenting to the home sleep study. So how long do I have to wear the equipment? Uh, we want you to wear it for at least six hours. Since you're registered for today's date, we would prefer if you would start the test before midnight. Mm -hmm. It just makes it a little easier on us to, to with the insurance and that kind of thing. Okay. Have you ever done anything like this before? No, I have not. Well, I'm going to go over everything with you step by step. Okay. Um, for tonight, you'll need to wear a nightgown or pajamas or a t-shirt or mm -hmm. something so that we can you can place the device on top of it and it's okay. not against your skin. Everything you need is in the box. You'll just flip up on these latches. In the lid, there are a couple of numbers that you can call. If you get home and you um, have forgotten something I've told you or you think of a question that you forgot to ask, um, we have technologists that are available to you. To Usually, usually they can answer the question okay. for you over the All phone. right, well, good. That's good to know. All right. So I'm putting um, some fresh batteries in here. Uh, so you will have plenty of power to last for the duration of the study. Okay. This is the recording device, mm -hmm. and this is what you're going to um, place um, on top of whatever you're wearing to bed. Mm -hmm. It goes in the center of your chest. Okay. The reason it goes in the center of your chest is because the doctor is using it as a um, position sensor. Mm -hmm. So um, by doing that, it's something you can sleep in whatever position you like. It's just mm -hmm. something that, that the doctor finds helpful um, in diagnosing your, your okay. problem. So if it's more comfortable to you, you can slide this under oh, okay. or above okay. or centered. The main thing is to have it centered this way. Okay. Then you're going to bring the belt around. And you want to make sure the belt's not twisted because it can possibly affect the way it plugs in on the other side. And then you're going to insert that buckle into the slot. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure it snaps all the way into place, to both top and bottom. So the okay. best thing to do is maybe squeeze on the sides and just make sure it's good and locked. Okay. Um, you don't uh, you don't want the belt too tight. If you get mm -hmm. the belt too tight. It's going to start to pull here and it might actually become oh, um, okay. uh, detached while you're mm -hmm. moving around in the bed at night. So okay. you want it to be somewhat snug so it's picking up on that respiratory mm -hmm. ever, but not too tight. Okay. And then um, by buckling that in, it actually starts your study. So you don't have to push any buttons or anything like that. So this button is that. No, you don't good. use that for anything. Okay. okay. Uh, it's it's a feature that we don't use. Okay. So by buckling that in, that's actually starting a recording. We're getting a recording okay. right now. We don't use it. We just discard it. Okay. And then you'll notice these lights that come on on mm -hmm. the top. Um, it's completely normal. You know, you might want to be aware of them, but don't get too concerned about them. Okay. They will light up. They'll eventually disappear. They may flash orange if you move through the night or mm -hmm. or uh, that kind of thing. But as long as you have this locked in place, mm -hmm. everything should be good. Okay. All right. Then this is what we're using to monitor your breathing and if you have any snoring. I'm going to attach this on the top. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that there for you, so you won't even have to worry about it. Okay. Um, this, um, it actually looks kind of like oxygen, but it's not oxygen. However, you are going to put it on kind of like it is. Okay. So these little prongs are curved, mm -hmm. and you want those to be curved towards you. Okay. And then you'll place those in your nose, loop these around your ears mm -hmm. and then you can tighten this um, under your chin okay that tube just kind of lays there in your mouth and mm -hmm. picks up on some oral breathing um, and then in the box we include a couple strips of these uh, this tape 
if you could peel the backing off of the tape mm -hmm. and then attach a piece of tape on either side here just to okay. make sure it gives it a little extra security so you're not like taking it out in your okay. sleep yeah or it's getting shifted around knocking it off <laughs> All right, and so the last piece will be your oxygen and pulse sensor. This piece, um, it can go on either hand, mm -hmm. any finger except we don't want it on your pinky or your thumb. And so on um, these three fingers on either hand, you can place it. With your palms down, you want the cord to be up. So whichever finger you choose, um, You'll need to uh, insert your finger until it reaches the top. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to actually protrude out the top. You just want it to reach the top. And then you can use the wrap to keep that in place. Okay. And if you like, there's also a clip on here. Mm -hmm. You can clip it on your pajamas or on the belt if you feel oh, like okay. you need extra security and mm -hmm. to keep it from you know getting all wrapped up in it. That kind of thing, okay. but that's whatever you feel comfortable okay. and would be the best um, best for you. Also, right. on the tubing here for the nose piece, there's a little paper to mm -hmm. uh, wrap around here. If you want extra slack on the tubing, you can remove that. Okay, um, but uh, if you'd rather it just stay on there, you can do that too. Okay, whatever right. you think would work best. Um, mm -hmm. Did you have any questions so far about the hookup? Um, no, it's very simple. Just make sure this is clicked in um, behind the ears. Push this up, and this. I was thinking about going to get my nails done, though. Uh, well, is that will that be a problem or no? No, I, we we need you to have um, no acrylic or gel nails, and it needs to be free of any polish. Okay. The oximeter works. The way it works is it shines a light through there and compares some values mm -hmm. so that we can see oh, your oxygen okay. levels and your pulse. And so if you have that polish on there, it's not going to properly read it. So what will happen is it's, you're not going to know it, but it's not, it's possibly not going to give us the correct information. Oh, okay. So it could well, be an invalid test. Okay. Well, I'll just put it off until tomorrow then. <laughs> Great. Perfect. You can do it as soon as uh, you But read. Yeah, it seems very simple. And I guess if I have any questions, I can always call the number and right. tonight and um, and ask about that. But Now, I if during the test, we'd like you to wear it, like I said, for mm -hmm. six hours. Mm -hmm. But if during the test you need to get up and you need to use the restroom or you need to get a drink mm -hmm. of water or something like that, the main thing to remember is to not unbuckle this belt. Okay. Okay. Because of it being the on and off switch, if you unbuckle it, what it's going to do is it's going to stop your test, and then mm. when you buckle it back in, it's going to start another one. And we can't really put those little pieces together, so we're not going to get that long study that we need to look at so the doctor can make a good diagnosis. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah. now, however, you can briefly take this off if you need to wash your hands. Okay. You can briefly take off the nose sensor if you need to blow your nose. But just keep it to a minimum and try to remember to put it right back on so that we're getting that data that we need for your study. Okay. So when you're ready to get up, mm -hmm. um, you do not have to remove the equipment in any sort of order. Mm -hmm. And to get this belt off, mm -hmm. you just squeeze okay. the top and bottom and it Pop releases it out. out. Okay. All right, in your box, mm -hmm. I, I have a little pouch here if uh, if you could um, slide the device in the pouch, okay, you don't have to seal it up or anything, but just kind of put that in there okay, so sure. it'll have an extra cushion right. while you're transporting it. If the door is locked when you come to return the device, just ring the doorbell, and the technologist will come to the door right away. Make sure you return the home sleep study device the next day between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. Failure to do so may result in extra charges. Hi, so hey, did you have any problems you? with your equipment? No, not at all. I think everything worked fine and I would put everything where you said to, so it should have worked just fine. Great. So yeah. did you have to get up at all during the night? I didn't. I didn't. Uh, okay. So all right. Well, to you. Uh, we're, like I said, we're going to download all your data and give it to your sleep doctor and then you'll be receiving your test results in the mail. Um, okay. If you don't hear anything within, within a couple weeks, um, give us a call, but sure. it, should, it usually sure. takes less time. Okay. All right. All, All right. right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Have a great day. After each use, 
The device and case are thoroughly disinfected by a technologist before sending it home with the next patient. We hope this video has been helpful and look forward to helping you get the best night's sleep possible.